guys and welcome to the Phenomenal Five. Um, today, what we're going to do is do some. I did receive these um, some time ago. I just haven't dealt with them yet. But I have got my logos uh, emblems to go onto the RV. Um, I know this is probably not going to show up very well. It's still in the tube and um, everything. But um, I've got three of them. I'm going to put one on the back and one on each side. Um, so I thought I'd have you guys watch me try and do this. Uh, so um, give me a few to get set up and we're going to get started. Okay, I've been trying to get this camera set up so it's kind of square on the um, window, but uh, I have been unsuccess unsuccessful, so we're just going to go with it as it is. Uh, we are going to start with uh, cleaning the... Um, the window so give me a second here now this little uh, device here you know, all you have to do is get it wet and it cleans the window really well with just using water. Um, I picked this up at a Dollar General um, some time ago. Look, see how dirty that window was. Um, and then I'll get up here and I'll squeegee off, make sure I have all my moisture off of it. Um, instructions on uh, putting this thing up is it must be a clean dry surface um i am a little concerned because it looks like i may have ordered these too big to fit on that window and if that's the case i'm going to have to figure out how else i'm going to do this Yeah, I did. I did it too big. Uh, I, I always measure, measure. I put it there. It's going to go over the third tail light. Nah, I'm not sure I want to do it there. Um, that does cover up the Holiday Rambler. We're going to have to do some research on this. I might just go ahead and move to the side and see where we're at. Well, guys, let me move this a little bit. What do we think about right there? I think that's what I'm going to go with. So let me clean that area. Readjust the camera again. Okay, that should do it. And yes, the RV needs to be uh, taken to the car wash and washed completely. I, I've just been uh, trying to get a hold of the owners of the local car wash. They do have a drive-in spot that looks like it is tall enough for me to get the RV into it. But it doesn't look like the arm that uh, goes around the top that the hose circles around on will uh, clear all of my stuff. And 
my squeegee disappeared. Ah, here it is. give that a few minutes to dry and we will be back to give her a shot here in just a few minutes okay she's all dry now and so we're going to go ahead and continue now it says that to uh, when you put this on to attach the top part of this with this masking tape um, but it's their example, it was squared and not a circle like mine. So we're going to have to probably play with it a little bit. Okay, we got to start there. Now, what I'm not sure is how to start pulling the back off of it. We have to work from the side. That explains it. This little white trim around the end, which I was doing. I might. I'm not gonna go into details and bore you in about that. So we got her started. And so what we're gonna do is reach under here. Using the squeegee to keep all the you'll get that back just a little bit more. We've already got a bubble starting, we're gonna work it out. Just smoothing her out as we go. Well, this is a lot easier than I was anticipating. I was expecting a lot of trouble here. Now, we got something there, but that's probably because I've got this uh, decal there that's going to be in the way. I'm hoping that's all that that's causing that. Oh, that worked. Pulling it back up a little bit helped smooth that out. Now they do have a tool to deal with those, but I did not get that. I may have to order it. Um, 
but she's coming right along a lot easier than I was anticipating because, you know, me, I'm not uh, really, I'm going to say I'm doing a much better job than I thought I would. And the company I bought this for, and I'm sorry, right now I'm not remembering their uh, name. Now, I understand I'm not associated with them in any way. Um, it just happened to be who I, uh, I chose um, when I went looking for who to get my decals from. Um, they had a lot of very good reviews. Uh, price was more than reasonable and um, I have to say um, my graphic software I use is uh, Microsoft um, uh, Paint 3D on which I put into uh, open office presentation um, which would be equivalent to Microsoft's PowerPoint um, to uh, to blend all the different graphics together um, which is not very much and I'm not really talented or know the software for it so um, they um, um, actually did an excellent job of cleaning up my lines uh, my lines were awful uh, grayscale kind of where the um, where the end of the black here and on the edges of the mountain and stuff really went into a grayscale. Um, and I didn't even know it could be fixed, but they, they fixed it. And they did a fantastic job with that. Um, okay, now there is a, um, another sheet layer over the top of this which they say needs to be left on for at least 24 hours um, which so I'll come back later and pull that off and I'm also going to be putting the um, okay time to remove the foam from here I'll try to make that so it's not so uh, such a problem during editing but there we go we now have it on here um, which I am going to switch the camera around there we go so it's now on the back my plan is to put another one over here um, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be best to go right there above the hot water heater, which is that. And then, you know, kind of on the refrigerator. Um, if I'm thinking about it, maybe back here, but I'm thinking more center or maybe underneath the kitchen window. Um, still thinking about it. Um, under the kitchen window, probably be a great place for it. And then on this side, um, this is my uh, desk sits right behind there. And we're going to put it right there in that area. Oh, Brutus, be quiet. Brutus is in there barking. So he wants to come out. So that's my plan on the other two. And we will be putting some more motion sensor lights um, out here and on the sides and in the back. Um, but that's coming up. So, I have to say, as fast as that was and as easy as it was, I don't know why I've been putting it off. Um, I'm just sorry it didn't fit in the window. But, um, I think that's the best place I could have put it. Switching over, Oops, my hand's right in front of the camera. Sorry about that, guys. But, uh, that was simple and easy of getting the um, the decals on um, it's about 5 30 in the morning it's time for me to get ready to go to bed but um, 
We're going to go inside. Brutus. Oh, wait a minute. That's the neighbor. That's Zeus. That's barking. That's not... Uh, um, Brutus that's barking. Sorry. Just going to come in here. There's no light. So, on in here right now. I'm not plugged in, so I'm not turning any lights on. Uh, I'm sorry. Close-ups is probably not what you wanted to see. But I need, wanted to get that back in here. Um, oh, I need to get the uh, the other two. Um, decals and get them put back in the uh, RB. So I can come back to this. And probably get it done fairly quickly now that I know how, what I'm doing. Or at least appear that I know what I'm doing. Um, I've got so much junk. So, I um, might come out a little later today and do it. Uh, just doing some filming. Um, I might take Brutus. And uh, tie him outside for a little bit. So that uh, he can be outside. Trouble is, he doesn't do anything other than follow me around. And if I leave him outside and go inside, he stands here close to the front door as he can. Everything's doing fine around here these days. Um, just uh, working hard and um, and everything. But I'm on a uh, my um, three-day weekend here. I was going to try and get out, but uh, plans didn't happen. Um, having an issue with the uh, thermostat not turning on. So I have no air conditioning. I'm still researching that. I'm hoping that it's just I need to replace a battery in there. But I can't seem to figure out how to get the uh, cover off. I've done a lot of research on YouTube. And I cannot find this particular thermostat. Um, if the thermostat's out, um, according to um, Holiday Rambler, um, they that thermostat's no longer made and I would have to um, upgrade to the next level up which mine has four buttons it has five buttons but it, it would require me to replace the controller cards up in each air conditioning for it to work um, so I and I haven't looked into doing that as of yet um, the plan is to work some more to get the um, cover off and hopefully it's just uh, replacing a battery um, at this point I can't even find out if it has a battery um, everything is kind of strange for me but I'm going to use um, the phone uh, and magnify in close to see if I can find something that will release it but right now I couldn't find it feeling around well I just realized that I kind of ended that video abruptly so we're just going to add a little um, exit part here. Um, Brutus is coming up, so he's most likely going to knock on the table. Um, but anyway, just uh, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, uh, comment. I cannot stress enough on how much that helps the algorithm and uh, pushing my videos out there for more people. Um, as if you're on my uh, Facebook, you would have seen that I have hit um, 75 uh, subscribers. Uh, I need a thousand. Um, sorry, Brutus. Behave. No, behave. Behave. <laughs>
Um, but yes, like, ooh, okay, I'm in trouble now. Um, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification so you know when I uh, upload new videos. Um, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much.